right now? Yes, please. Okay, thank you. Okay, um, all right, so our presentation topic today is about music understanding the Lama. And um, me and my teammates are very, very honored to be here to do the presentation. So uh, we have six parts, and uh, I will do first about the uh, overall and related work. So um, first thing that the challenge of the music data sets. So we know that large scale music data sets combined with natural language annunciation are very late and scarce. So that's why it's a very major obstacle for text to the music generation, which we call the T2M gen. So the paper proposed the, the Mulama model. Um, it's very interesting and uh, it's very important because it can uh, answer the music related questions and generate captions for the music fields. And uh, also the paper talks about the generation of the music uh, QA data sets. That's also very interesting and uh, um, fabulous because it's designed to train the Mulama model. And next is a related work so uh, basically now the existing music data sets or we say the largest public available data set is a music caps. It, uh, it can turn around uh, 28.52 hours of music and its attentions. And also there are some very typical and basic models of this uh, part, such as uh, moose caps, the most caps model is typical. Um, it uses a hybrid architecture that combines with the convolutional network for music understanding and a recurrent natural network for the title generation. So, and this architecture is designed to capture the complexity of music and translate it into the natural language descriptions. And also, uh, another one like we usually use is the uh, LP music caps. Uh, it uses a cross model coda architecture and it allows to better understand the music content and generate the corresponding caps. Um, and also we have the Lama adapter Univod and the LTU and so on. So this is a nice part for my teammates. Hi guys, my name is Sharag. I'm gonna talk about the music feature representation. Uh, next slide. So basically what we've done is we've analyzed the various models available for the comprehension and we utilize the pre-trained audio representation models. Um, these models are adapted, you know, converting raw audio signals into um, meaningful representations which can be used to draw conclusions and this capability enables the machines to understand, you know, uh, interpret sound waves into um, under, uh, information that can be understood by machines. Um, uh, you are analyze various models such as the, in the paper uh, mentioned about the image bind, which is a method that learns unified um, embedding space across six modalities, images, uh, depth, uh, thermal depth, uh, audio, and the IMU data. It possesses the capability to process and represent the audio data, uh, facilitating the um, cross-model representation retrieval and allowing for the combination of uh, various mathematical um, operations. Uh, next page. Um, next slide, please. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Jukebox, which, you know, uh, combines a um, combination of uh, multi-scale VQVA, which is vector quantized um, variational autoencoders and uh, transformers uh, to both, uh, you know, generate and uh, represent music into um, information that can be um, understood by machines. Uh, OpenL3, which is a framework to um, designed to, you know, um, deep learn audio embedding from unsupervised um, audiovisual correspondence. Uh, it can be applied to various tasks for um, such as audio classification and analysis of music or any audio signal. Uh, next slide. 
Uh, next slide, please. Yeah. Uh, um, the same one. Same one. Next one. Yeah, this one. Uh, clap. Yeah. Uh, which used the Leon audio six thirty k audio data set for um the audio pre training thing, and um this allows a cross model uh, retrieval between the audio and text, uh enhancing task like audio and text retrieval. Way to clip again derived from the clip model and designed to project audio into a shared embedding space with images and text. It enables audio to be processed alongside with modality such as other parameters such as uh, images and text, which is actually beneficial for um, understanding music in a better way. Mert uh, again an acoustic uh, music representation model that achieve uh, perform um, like better performance on uh, music understanding tasks uh, to understand the sentiment or the the what the, what the music is what the audio signals are trying to say it's uh, trained using high scale um um self supervision and um self supervision methods and it utilizes teacher models such as the uh, RVQ VAE model uh, which is based on the constant uh, security the uh, security feature uh, next one next slide uh, this is a comparison of the various models that we've analyzed um according on the basis of the accuracy of the predicted tags um, and the uh, average precision of the uh, predicted tags. So image pine gave a accuracy of 88.5 and 41.19 percent, jukebox 91.5 percent, uh, which is pretty good. Um, but all um, compared to all of these, uh, MERT gave the highest accuracy of 93.91 uh, percent and 59.57 percent. Uh, next slide. Um, okay, on to the music QA DSS generation. Um, so uh, what we want is to uh, equip uh, Mu, Mu Lama with uh, the capability of answering uh, music related question. Um, how? And to do that, we need a data set with uh, music uh, question answer pairs. However, existing data set lack ready-made music question answer pairs. They only, uh, they typically only contain uh, music description and or tags. So to combat this, the author come up with an, an approach to generate uh, the pairs uh, synthetically. Um, specifically, they use a large language model called mpt 7 b from Mosaic ML to uh, generate the question answer pairs themselves uh, from the music description and tags. And they named this uh their data set music QA. And uh, just a note that uh the source of the description in tags used are from two data set mentioned earlier, music caps and uh, magnet tagger tune. Uh next slide, please. So going to uh going to more details, each pair is generated using one of two ways. The first way is close-ended question answer pairs generation. Uh, and close ended here means that the author just uh, prepare four questions in advance. Uh, describe the music. Describe the music in detail. What do you hear in the audio? What can be inferred from the audio? And they just uh, instruct the LM to answer answers these four questions from for in this case that the music captions, uh, which uh which result in in this case for question answer pairs. Uh, next slide, please. Uh, next slide, please. Oh, can you go to previous slide? Sorry. Okay, so the second way is open-ended question answer pairs generations. And uh, con contrast to the previous approach, um, open-ended here means that the author should instruct the, instruct the model to create both the question and the answers. So and um from a, in this case, uh I uh, the example here use a list of tags. So uh, the author instruct the um the LM to create five question first, and these question uh can be uh, the about the tempo of music, the mood of the music, instrument uh, instruments used, etc. And also, uh, they ask the instruct the uh, the instruct the LM to generate the answer for the uh, 
uh, answer for those questions according to the tax, and which result in um in this case five question answer pairs. Okay. Um. Now on the onto the model architecture. Thanks. Hi, my name is Lakshya Chauhan, and I am here to explain the Mu Lama model architecture. Can we, yeah. The Mu Lama model is built on Meta's Lama model. It utilizes the MERT as the music encoder to empower the model for music understanding and question answering. It uses a similar approach like the Lama adapter. The architecture of the Mu Lama model involves a frozen MERT encoder generating music feature embeddings by stacking the outputs of the encoder hidden layers and output layers. A subsequent 1D convolutional layer aggregates the feature embedding into a dimension of 1024 projected to a 4096 dimensional space by a projection layer. The dense neural network contains three subblocks, each comprising normalization, linear layer, and a stereo activation function components with a skip connection ensuring smooth information flow. The subblock structure within the music understanding adapter densest layer. Each subblock consists of normalization, linear, and stereo activation. Now I'll move to the training progress. During training, the MERT encoder and LAMA's transformer layers are frozen while the music understanding adapter undergoes fine tuning. The output from the adapter is multiplied to the queries in the multi headed attention in the last L minus one transformer layers on the LAMA model. Can we move to the next slide? Next slide. Yeah. So this is the block diagram of the music understanding adapter dense layer. The I'll explain the functionality of the layer. The model is trained on the music QA dataset. The mu lama model can answer questions given music context and generate captions, enhancing user experience in music related application. It's a it's robust architecture, fine tuning mechanism, and context integration makes it a valuable tool for various music related applications. Thank you. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna introduce the experiments and the results about the Mu Lama model. Uh, the model is trained uh, on the music QA dataset. Uh, it acqu acquires the ability to answer questions given mu music context and can generate captions as well. For the training part, the model was pre-trained on the APACA instruction following dataset and the music caps subset of the music QA dataset. Then they uh then it got fine-tuned using the MTT subset of the music QA dataset. The pre-train stage has uh 150 epochs, while the fine-tuning stage has 20. The evaluation employs the MTG Jamando dataset prepared uh, following the proposed methodology in this paper. The dataset contains a total of four, uh, 4,500 QA pairs related to 500 music tracks for evaluation the music questioning task and the 1,000 random music tracks for evaluating the music captioning task. Next slide. Um, so to evaluate the performance of music questioning answering, uh, the BU, MR, RL, and the BERT ACE, these four matrix matrix for text generation were used. As you can see, another two LM based models, the LTU and the Lama adapter, capable of answering questions for input music, were compared to the Mu Lama model. The both values from Mu Lama are highest among these models and particularly excelling in the MR and the RL. Next slide. Um, similarly, for music captioning, these four metrics were used and, and this time, five models joined the competition in total. The table demonstrates that the Mu Lama okay. model remains the top yeah. performer in music captioning with significant improvements over the four compared models in terms of MU, 
uh, oh, B U M R and R I. Yeah, next. Okay, let me do the uh, final part about the conclusion. Um, so from this, this paper, we can see that it has a very great progress because uh, the myeloma performs very well in music understanding and generating the music descriptions. And also it creates a very nice data set, the music QA. It was generated to through a very innovative methodology. So basically, the conclusion is that Hello. Yes. Was speaking. Okay, I will continue. Okay, so so basically for the conclusion, the myeloma, uh, it outperforms a current uh, cutting edge models in music quizzing and music type generation, and it also uh proved that it's it's super performance across a wide range of metrics. Um, but however, it also has some limitations. The the two very important things that the music QA dataset is still limited in the size and diversity. And also the generation, the, the generalization ability of the model still need to be improved in the future. But but um all in all, uh, it was a very great and very amazing music model for now. And um, that's all. Thank you. And uh, we are free to you to ask any questions and this is our github link and the link of the paper thanks for all my teammates and thank you for the this